2013 was a historic year for the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup presented by Shimano as the cross-country eliminator discipline made its debut, bringing about the first ever World Cup champion. Five races on five different courses challenged the sprinters amongst the mountain bike riders. Only three women could take the win in the competition's maiden year as Sweden established itself as the sprint nation. Alexandra Engen and Jenny Rizved dominated the competition and impressed with their extraordinary sprinting skills. In four out of the five races, one of them ended up on the top step of the podium. But Rizved is not 100% certain what the secret behind her success may be. We are a strong mental and uh, strong physically, so yeah, maybe we got everything here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Catherine Sternemann was the only one to intervene in the Swedes' winning streak. She took the win in Valnord and was second on three other tracks and is Alexandra Engen's toughest competitor in the race for the overall World Cup title. I think Alexandra has the pressure on now because she has the jersey, she can lose it and I only can win it. Before going into the final race in Hafjell, Engen and Sternemann were only separated by 10 points. Engen had a bad start to the day. She failed to jump far enough in the first lap and knocked out a tooth. But she kept going and made it into the finals, where fellow Swede Jenny Risfeld showed off her superiority with the second win of the season. Despite everything, Engen managed to keep Sternemann at bay and claim third place, which was enough to give her the overall World Cup title. It's so crazy. I, if you would have asked me after the, the first seat, I was like, I don't know if I want to go hard today because I, I messed up in a jump and the tooth loosened. But then I was like, well, I'm not, I'm training the whole season to, to give up on the finish line. So it's, it's just not me. The Men's Eliminator World Cup Series was very different and saw four different winners throughout the season. Daniel Federspiel, Kenta Gallagher, Fabrice Mels and Simon Gegenheimer. The Austrian Federspiel turned out to be a true sprint specialist. He took two first places and another two top five rankings in the World Cup. With a win in Albstadt, he had a perfect start to the season, which he followed up with another first place in Val de Sol, the third tour stop. In Nova Mesto, British rider Kenta Gallagher hogged the spotlights with an impressive finish, which secured him his first World Cup win. Fabrice Maus first called attention to himself and he placed fourth in Val de Sol. But it was in the following tour stop in Andorra where the Belgians showed up his competitors with a start to finish lead and win. Before the final race, there was only one point that separated Daniel Federspiel from the World Cup title. He took his point and the overall win. Yeah, it was an amazing season. I have reached all of my goats. I won the, the Austrian Championship, the European Championship, the silver medal in the World Championship, and now the overall World Cup. It was an amazing feeling. Away from the drama of Finnish Spiel's win, the top spot in Hafjell went to German Simon Gegenheimer. With a strong performance in the final run, he got his reward for a steady season. After the excitement of a new format, can the newly crowned champions hold on to their titles? Six races, three continents. What does 2014 hold?